Ghana's water, sanitation and hygiene wash sector is faced with the challenge of unsystematic data collection and reporting, which is further compounded by multiple data sources and fragmented data management systems which are not linked to any harmonized sector information system. This has resulted in the unavailability of timely data at the national level for decision-making on service monitoring and financial tracking for resource allocation for wash services delivery. That is the reason why Ghana is among the countries benefiting from the improving WASH evidence-based decision-making IWET project supported by USAID to overcome the situation. Let's have a quick look at some of the major data management systems. The sector ministry has taken a joint step with support from development partners, notably World Bank and UNICEF. The ministry has developed what it calls the Golden Indicators to support data harmonization and sector reporting. The 14 Golden Indicators cover sanitation, hygiene, water, solid waste management, water resources management, budgetary allocations and disbursement, gender and governance. With funding and technical support from USAID through the IWET project, the ministry has finally developed a system to automatically generate and share data on the wash coding indicators. The overall objective of the project is to improve data harmonization within the Ghana wash sector. We want to develop and implement standard wash data collection, management and reporting systems build capacities of different actors in the wash sector, establish a baseline data for the wash sector, and establish an integrated sector information system. After a quick desk review, the Ministry and the IWED project consultants organized an inception meeting to sensitize stakeholders about the essence and strategy for developing the new data harmonization system. Since multiple institutions have a stake in the project, there were consensus building interactions during the life of the project. This was followed by an institutional assessment in six pilot metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies MMDAs, in southern and northern Ghana. An analysis of all existing WASH-related databases used by different sector institutions was also conducted to assess how they can all link with each other for a common report. With all this information gathered, a new SIS was developed to allow all the available databases to talk to each other. MMDA staff were then mobilized and trained to gather baseline information in the pilot districts to test the system in the field. From the national to the pilot district levels, various administrative structures were established by the ministry to manage data flow into the new system. At long last, Ghana's WASH sector now has a functional data harmonization system. So, what happens next after this pilot project? The Ministry will scale up the process nationwide in collaboration with the local government service to mainstream the WASH data collection and reporting in the activities of district staff. We will also strengthen the research statistics and information management department to manage the systems. Mm -hmm.